this is Yuli with the Ranch Simulator community team and today's tutorial is all about dogs and cats which were released on February 29th. So without further ado, let's dive in. Dogs can be purchased at the general store for $200 each. There are three color options for dogs shown as white, black, and brown. White is a Rottweiler, black is a German Shepherd, and brown is a Dachshund. Cats can also be purchased at the general store and they cost $100 each. The colors shown are brown, black, white, and orange, and they correspond with a gray tabby cat, a solid black cat, solid white cat, and orange tabby cat. Once your pet is purchased, you will find them outside in the livestock area. For cats, you will need to pick them up and place them in the back of your vehicle like chickens. Dogs need to be whistled to follow you by looking at them and pressing H, and then you can enter your vehicle and the dog will jump in the passenger seat, which can now no longer be used by a player. Or if you need to run back in to make another purchase, the dog will sit and wait for you outside the door. You will need to purchase some additional items for your new pet before leaving the general store. You can purchase a collar package for your new pet for $65. This package contains seven collars with which to name your pets, and the collar can be painted by holding a paint bucket and looking at your new furry friend and pressing E. You will also need to purchase a food bowl for $35 each. Each bowl will hold five units of pet food and 10 units of water. You will need to fill the water side manually with a bucket. I recommend having one bowl for each animal just to be sure there is enough food and water nearby to keep everyone alive. Lastly, you will need to purchase a bag of pet food for $50. The bag holds 20 units. Dogs can be very helpful around the ranch and valley. While they are following you, you can hover over something and press H to have them fetch the item and bring it to you. Also, while you are exploring, should you get attacked by a predator, they will protect you. They seem to overpower wolves pretty easily, but they will die if you don't help them against a bear. And should you become unconscious while the dog is following you, they will revive you. This can be especially handy for solo players. Dogs will wander off similar to other animals in the game, but there are a few things you can do to prevent this. You can build a dog house and assign your dog to it by pressing E, and this will keep your dog wandering around a smaller area, or you can build a fenced in area to keep the dog in. You can also close them up in a house or barn to wander around if you don't want them to follow you. You can find the doghouse on the last page of the chicken coop section of the build book. Currently, the team is still deciding on the functionality of cats, so be sure to post your suggestions in the official Ranch Simulator Discord linked in the description below. That is it for this quick tutorial on cats and dogs. Please like this video if it helped you, comment below if you would like a tutorial on anything I haven't already covered, and please subscribe to stick around for information on future updates of Ranch Simulator. Thank you so much for watching, and happy ranching!